I thought little Harry would grow up, go to college, have friends, get drunk, you know, the normal stuff. That's what Lewis and I did. So why should it be so different for Harry? Okay, Elle, that's enough. It's been three months. You gotta let yourself move on. It's been three months. Only three months, Lewis. What do you expect me to do? I mean, the police haven't even found the bastard that killed him. They will find him. You've gotta distract yourself from it. I mean, stop going in his room. Stop watching his favorite movies. Just stop haunting yourself with his memory. No. No, you can't tell me what to do. I mean, He's my son. I will grieve for my son as long as I like. I mean, I'm not just gonna erase him. He wasn't some dog that died, Lewis. He was our son. I'm just saying you have to let yourself move on. What, pretend that Harry never existed? That's not what I'm saying. I can't do that, Lewis. You know that. You Eleanor, know that. won't you just listen to me for one second? What, listen to the fact that you don't care that he died? That you were able to move on after a week? I mean... A crazy person would say that you wanted him gone. Elle, just calm down. I will not let you do that to our son. He's our son, Lewis. He was my son. He was Harry. Hello? Hi, it's, it's me, Eleanor. Hello. Look, I was in a good time. Please, I need to meet with you. It's been three months, and and I know you can do more for me than the police have. I'm very busy, Miss Eleanor, but I can give you ten minutes if you can hurry. Oh, well, I'm, I'm in my car now. Perfect. Where should I meet you? Meet me at the park on Hollowbrook and Caulfield. Okay, um, I'll be there in five minutes. Thank you so much for meeting with me. I've been so stressed and I haven't known what to do All right, look, now. we really don't have enough time to talk. Uh, no one knows I have this and I'm really not allowed to be giving it to you. What's in the file? Everything the police found at the scene of the crime. They have reason to believe that the man who did it was a tall man, dark hair, and he knew his way around a gun. The 
chamber we found inside your son was belonging to that gun. Thank goodness. Well, did you did you find anything else? We ran a search of whoever could own that type of gun within 200 miles, and only one came up, Mr. Alan Grange. Alan Grange? Oh my God, that's my neighbor. I mean, how could he do something like this? I've known him for years. He has never bothered anyone before. I don't understand how he could do something like this. Well, thank you. Elle, where did you get these? Never mind where I got these, just look! Doesn't Mr. Grange have this type of gun? Exactly. He killed our son. He killed Harry. Ellie, you can't just jump to conclusions like that. I mean, just take them to the sheriff's office. I mean, let them handle it. No! The police have done nothing for us for three months. Look, if we want this settled, we have to take matters into our own hands. I can't let you do that! What are you gonna do then, Lou? Turn me into the police yourself? Get me in trouble for trying to bring justice to the death of our son? I didn't think so. I'm doing this and you can't stop me. How may I help you? Oh, uh, may I come in? It'll only take a second. Uh, sure. Thank you. Sure. Your gun wasn't in this case. What happened? Uh, it was so gorgeous. Oh, yes. I uh, must have misplaced it. I haven't seen it in quite a while. I don't really remember the last time I used it even. What a shame. Yes. What a shame. Thank you. Um, I actually had a question. You remembered when my little boy died, right? Yes, of course. What a terrible, terrible tragedy. Very sorry for your misfortune. Yeah, um, I was actually wondering, um, what, what were you doing that night? Uh, I was, uh, home, uh, alone. Uh, why? And you didn't hear the gun go off? No, no, I was asleep. You would think that the gunshot would wake you up from your sleep. No. Hmm. And where did you say your gun was again? Uh, are you accusing me of, of murder? I, I I was asleep. I I, I I took too many sleeping pills. Maybe maybe a bit too much. And, and I but I I was asleep. Where is the gun, Alan? Uh, look, I I don't know. I've been dealing with um a lot of things lately. And you have absolutely no proof. But, I'm calling the police. What? No, I have I have tapes. Yes, I have tapes. Uh, follow me. What? Could you? 
murder. What? You conniving murderess! What? Eleanor, what are you talking you about? You killed our son! El, I... I... No! I wasn't no. myself! What? I... I had these visions. I thought it was a dream. I, I wasn't in control. I tried to tell myself to stop, but I just couldn't do it! You are crazy! You don't know what you're talking about! Hell, I'm bipolar! I got diagnosed five years ago. I'm bipolar. I get manias and I lose myself. I'm not in control. Everything's heightened. All of my senses were heightened. I, I thought it was a dream. I thought someone else did it. And then I thought about it and I knew it was me. No. You did not kill our little boy, Lewis! Yes, Eleanor, I did. But you can be with him. We can both be with him. I love you, Eleanor. Stop. Isn't that what you want? For us to be together? Stop! Isn't that all you want? Nine one one. What is your emergency? 